Hello and welcome to today's 10-minute meditation. Today's meditation is going to focus on the power of St. Gabriel the Archangel. Uh, to many Christians and Jews, even Muslims, Gabriel is an extremely powerful angel who is there to do God's will. He's uh, known as, his other name is God Strength. And often when he's You read where he's quoted, the word strength and power are in the words he uses when relaying a message. This is a wonderful opportunity to just kind of sink in. We're going to call forth Archangel Gabriel and ask him to deliver us, deliver our message to the divine while we sit in meditation and let us wait for the message to come back through the archangel to us. So that's a lot to do in a short period of time, but they don't need a lot of time. They just need you to pay attention to them and realize they're there to assist you at any time connecting with the divine. So we will begin with our prayer of protection and the Lord's Prayer. Quickly go into a guided meditation. I will tell us, I will say the words of calling forth Gabriel, and please repeat them to yourself or just listen along and know what is occurring. Um, I will say this, like, here is our intention. Here is my intention. And that's when you insert your intention. And then we're just going to wait silently. All right. We're going to get started. Um, Let us begin by closing our eyes. And taking a deep breath and just relaxing and letting go. Take another deep breath. And as you exhale, invite yourself to let go even further. As I approach the throne of grace, beauty, and might, I throw about myself the protections found in the thought of the Christ. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Take a moment and scan your body. You want to be in a relaxed, alert state. Notice if there's any tightness anywhere. Bring your attention to it and invite it to relax and let go. Let us notice at the top of our head and at our third eye, between our eyebrows and on our forehead, There is a movement. There is energy there. And that is where the divine energy pours into our body. Let us follow it all the way through to our feet. Feel it pouring into our heads. And as it does, notice your spirit lift slightly. Feel it pouring into your neck. And again, your spirit pulling slightly away from you, just an inch or two, into your shoulders, releasing all the tension you carry there, your arms and hands. Notice they too are floating just slightly above you, into your chest, your trunk, your seat legs, this whole time just feeling yourself lifting, ankles, feet, you are now slightly away from your body, just a few inches, you are attached but separate so your soul can travel easily to the other side, 
Allow your soul now to the spirit part of you to step into that divine stream and rise up. Feel it rise up through the different chakras and out the top of your head and third eye. Arise, my spirit, and meet thy maker. In this perfectly quiet, peaceful place, totally safe, totally protected, we call forth the Archangel Gabriel. With reverence, we ask that he bring his presence to us so that we may relate to him our concerns. We do this with respect and love. Archangel Gabriel, here is my intention. I ask that you deliver it to the divine and please bring me back his guidance as I sit here quietly and await. Be thankful and appreciative of the message and do not be concerned if you don't know exactly if you received the message or you feel you haven't because it will come to you by the end of the day. Know it. God always answers through his angels and sends us messages. So just be aware and watch for it. As we pull ourselves back into our body through the top of our head, Settling in, pulling ourselves into the present, we close with the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, Tomorrow we are going to be talking about twin flames on empowerment through intuition. So join us there on Facebook. The group again is Empowerment Through Intuition. We are not going to do the webinar thing where you have to register. We're going to really try to follow everything live on Facebook and just be able to keep up. I think we could do it. We'll see you tomorrow morning, I hope, or later on, you know, sometime tomorrow. And again, for our show at nine, have a great and blessed day. Bye-bye.